Good afternoon, everyone. Hope we're all okay. I am bunged up with man flu, so I apologise in advance. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. Um, hope we're all okay. Let me just uh, get the Twitch page loaded up. There we are, lovely jubbly. Hello everyone. Da, 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 da. Um, I might be a little bit quieter than usual because it might hurt my throat after a while talking too much. Um, but yeah, I'll try and do my best. So, where are we? Currently, we've only played two games at the last stream. Well, we played a few Champions League, quite a few Champions League games, but yeah, for some reason, the files that I've got make it that everybody's got to do this qualifying thing. It's bullshit, but I don't know. How to, I don't know how to. Can't do nothing about it now. Uh, just got to get on with it. But yeah, feel free to say hello in the chat. So anyone anyway, new to this who's just tuned in, I'm in my second season with Barcelona. Um, I won the Spanish League in my first season and then I decided to sign some of the old boys like Lionel Messi, the GOAT, and uh, Luis Suarez, and Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, um, Sergio Gomez, who was playing for Barca's youth team and then went to Man City, signed him back. So the aim of the save is to only sign former Barcelona players. Um, the only exception to that is I signed Deli Ali because I signed Deli Ali in every single one of my saves. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, hope everyone's okay. Hope you're feeling better than I am. Woke up this morning with the driest mouth I've ever had and the bunged up nose. So I knew something bad was happening and as the day's gone on, I've been sneezing and bunged up and it's not good. Hopefully it will go away. I've got a pretty good immune system, so it shouldn't be with me too long. I reckon by the end of tomorrow I should be all right. It is annoying though, because I was going to go to the gym tomorrow, and now I'm going to, I'm going to be too ill. Because if you go to the gym when you're ill, you just make you Ill. you just make yourself worse. Uh, one nil, Sergio Roberto. Oh yeah, also signed Sergio Roberto. Add to the former Barca boys. Oh. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of me wiping my nose, I apologise. Ah, Pedri. Oh, no, uh, VAR. <laughs> Gold warded, get in. Penalty to Valencia. Oh, um, Balacano, sorry. Not Valencia.
Hello, hello, whoever's just joined the Twitch chat, feel free to uh, say hello. Only just noticed that you came on. I'm sorry I'm not sounding very coherent today. I've got a bunged up nose. Got man flu, dreaded man flu. Um, just let people know, I shall probably be... <laughs> Um, live streaming for about an hour tomorrow and I'm going to be live streaming a wrestling simulator game called TW2020 I'm oh, sorry 2020 not 2020 um, so yeah so I'm going to be managing WWE I'm going to try and do better than WWE are doing with the Roman Reigns Rock Cody Rhodes situation hopefully I'll make it an interesting situation for everybody so I'll be booking that. Uh, my friend Josh is currently tinkering around with the database, trying to make it more current. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he's done with that. Hello, Mark. I oh, know, mate. I oh, know. Is this Mark, as in from the from the the community forums? By the way, you must be up early if it's if it's the case. What time is it? You're five hours behind, aren't you? Oh, it's not that early. What am I about? The one and only. I haven't posted any thumbnails for a while, I hope. <laughs> but I will let you know that I will be trying to... I will be doing thumbnails for um, my WWE game on TEW. So... Because I'll be posting them on YouTube, but I'll try and just limit. I'll try and uh, not to annoy you too much by posting there. Just put me on your ignore list if it does your head in. I used to, I did the same with that. So when actor used to do me head in, I just put him on my ignore list for a while. I won't take it personally. Ah, uh, you're off work today. Fair play. Are you going to be watching the um, the WWE WrestleMania? Kick off thing. <laughs> Apparently, something big's going to happen at the press conference. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining, Mark. I do appreciate it. Feel free to uh, ask me anything, chat to me if you want. I could have sworn you've been in. I could have sworn you've talked about wrestling on the forums a few times before. Sorry, buddy, I didn't realise. <sighs> so you'll definitely won't be interested in the thumbnails when I post them in there. <laughs> I'll try not to tag you this time. I don't want to annoy you. Ugh, I hate being ill. I have a very good immune system and it really annoys me when I get ill. Ah, uh, fair enough. What you been up to today? Oh no, you've only just got up, ain't you, Mark? I suppose. Do you get up early, or you've only just got up? I'm very jealous of you living in America, by the way. You have a soft spot for Ray. I had I had a decent save with Ray Valicano um, a, a few years ago. I actually um, was the first one to. Um, fine, Matthias Arezzo. Um, oh my god, it's free, free. I've been yapping away to you, didn't even realize. I'm so annoyed at the fact that we've, we've drawn this game. Yeah. Mark, you jinxed me. If I don't win the title now, it's all because you're okay. <laughs> I'm only joking. Yeah. 
How's life as a uh, as a parent? How's how's the little one? Oh, that's good, Mace. That's good. You'll be taking him, be taking him on walks with you eventually. Are you still walking like a madman, ten miles a day or whatever it is? I don't know how you do it, Mace. I get knackered walking three miles a day. Never mind, bloody ten. <laughs> I feel really old lately. I went to the gym yesterday and uh, I was aching really bad when I come back, and I feel proper old now. I mean, I'm not. I'm only. I'm only thirty nine, but time is catching up on me now. Yeah, I bet you've got some beautiful scenery where you live. Where in America are you again? I can't remember unless you, unless you don't want to tell me for obvious reasons. I don't. I understand. I'm not going to come and find you, Mark. I wouldn't worry about it. I don't like flying to start off with. Oh, fair play. A AEW Wrestling uh, Company just um, announced last night that they're going to do a big show in in Boston. Not that you're, like I said, I know you're not into wrestling anymore, but there'll be um, Jer Chris Jericho and Edge and Christian will be there. So that might entice you to go there. I just thought I'd let you know. Tickets probably probably ridiculously priced though. Mark, is there a serious chance of Donald Trump becoming president of America again, or has he got no chance? Is he just like, is it just wishful thinking on his behalf, or does he actually have a decent chance of being president again? Yeah. Yeah. I just assumed you can only be president once, and that's it. Yeah. Hello, Bazinga. Uh, Mark is my friend on the community forums, Sci Games community forums. He puts up with me. He's, but he's a he's a, he's a good bloke. He catch he uh, every so often when I've posted on the forums about feeling a bit down, he's messaged me. So he's a, he's a good egg. We've had our moments in recent history because of me um, annoying him with posting thumbnails, but he's all right. How are you anyway, Bazinga? I'm all bunged up with a cold, by the way, so I apologise in advance. If I'm going to do a lot of this, all right. 
I need to blow my nose. <laughs> How did you meet him go? I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to blow my nose and hope that my mic doesn't cut off while I'm gone. Oh, I'm still here everyone, don't worry. Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that if you heard my disgusting uh, sniffling, sneezing and... Oh. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say now? Hold on. Let me figure out where my phone's gone. Where have you just gone? Oh, there you go. No, I was saying, Mark, I was saying, is there um, any chance of Donald Trump being re-elected as? Um, yeah, that's true. Act actor would know, wouldn't he? He knows all the disgusting people on Twitch. You could always ask him. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, is there any serious chance of Donald Trump being the president of America again, Mark? I bet you're terrified of the uh, of that happening. I'm glad I don't live in America. I mean, I'm jealous of you living in America in, so, in some ways, but also very lucky I still live in the UK, even though our government's not exactly much better. And that right, Bazinga? Oh, God. I mean, I kind of want him to be re-elected for the lols, but I don't because there's people like you that live in America... And I, I I can't imagine you're looking forward to the prospect of him being president again. Then again, we've got Rishi Sunak in charge, so he's no much he's not much better. How's your day been today, Bazinga? Have you been up what have you been up to other than work? Is that it? Has you has your partner moved in yet? Yeah, but Mark, I think you're safe because Donald Trump's um, okay with British people, isn't he? Because he's, he's from, his ancestors are from Scotland originally. Um, so I think you're all right, Mark. I think you'll be all right. Ah, uh, take take the Leon job, um, Bazinga. How did you get on with Strasbourg at the end of the season, and where did you, where did you end up in the league? No, I think you'd be alright, Mark. Like I said, I think he's alright with the British people. I, I I think, I think if you were black or Mexican or Asian, I think you'd come and stalk, because I don't think he likes people of colour. But I think you're alright, aren't you? I was trying to convince my um, non-practicing Hindu in Indian girlfriend to move to uh, Switzerland. I think uh, I think they do a very good job of looking after their people in Switzerland, but um, she weren't having it because she said they're, uh, they're they're quite they don't like they don't like people of certain colours there. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a sad time for Americans. America, like, is is known for its land of opportunity, and and anybody from any country can go and live there, and and 
It's not like that anymore. The Democrats like um, they're left wing, aren't they? They're not right wing. And then the Repu is it what? So you got Democrats and you got the Re is it the Republicans? And the Republicans are the right wing ones. So you don't have that in England. You have you have like Tories or probably I wouldn't say they're right wing, but they're not left wing. But I could be wrong on that one. They probably are more right wing. Well, no, actually no, because they try they try and be politically correct in some ways unless you're Rishi Sunak but um, it's not as like as black and white as it is in America you've got right wing and then you've got left wing whereas I think there's shades of grey in England or it's more subtle racism and subtle genderism and subtle uh, sexualityism and yeah, stuff like that, really. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Well, I mean, even if Labour come into power, um, even if Labour come into power, I, I'm, I don't think they're going to be much better than the Tories, the way it's going by the looks of it. I feel like Labour's going to be more like the Tories than the Tories at this rate. The amount of promises that Starm has gone back on. Bazinga, who are you going to be voting for in the general election? Are you going to be voting for Tories, Labour or a different party? I, I, I'm going to vote for the Green Party because I think they're the only decent bloody party out there. No, that's all right, mate. I mean, I'm not very political. I just feel sorry for Mark because he's, he's a British bloke who moved to America a few, quite a few years ago and uh, I just feel sorry for him having Donald Trump in charge. I don't, I don't, I've never voted anyway, but I probably will vote this time though. I feel like it, it, everybody should vote really. Did uh, Bazinga, did you sort out Valentine's Day meal in the end for you and your partner? I don't know if you were here when I signed. So, I don't know. I'll just quickly show you transfer history. So, I signed Busquets, Sergio... Sorry, yeah, Sergio Busquets, Luis Suarez, Jordi Alba, Sergio Gomez, and Oriol Romeo, as well as Sergi Roberto, who was here, who come in. Yeah, and then this one here, Ma Matteo Mori. So, basically, a lot of... Form, obviously, 
my transfer policy being only former Barcelona players. So uh, it kind of restricts me in a way. I had to sell Enzo Fati to get money to sign basically Messi and the rest of them. <laughs> but I will sign him. I will sign Enzo. I will sign Enzo Fati back at some point. How was the uh, Korean barbecue? Was it nice? No, I'm glad it was nice. Welcome back, Mark. Mark with the slutty humour. You're as bad as my mate Josh, Mark. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> yeah, we all love doing chores. See, I've got an excuse not to do anything today. So uh, my partner can sort out dinner and I can just sit here and be lazy. I've got the dreaded man flu. It's the worst thing ever. <sighs> No, but uh, I'm glad that you managed to go and have a nice meal with your girlfriend. Is it still is it still going well with your roommate? I wouldn't want to live with two women though, mate. There's there's all there'll always be uh, there'll always be one of them in the bathroom at all times. It would drive me mad. Oh my god, I don't even know. What is gout? Is it is it is it like a bad stomach type of thing or I wouldn't know. how does it affect you? Or do I do I not want to know? I probably don't want to know. My girlfriend wants to heat up this casserole she made ages ago. It's not it's she's very good at cooking, but I just didn't particularly I wasn't too keen on the casserole, but cuz I'm so bunged up and I can't taste anything. I'm just going to get her to do me the casserole today. That way she won't feel so bad because she asked me this morning and I was like, oh, I don't want casserole. So I'll, I'll, I'll pretend I changed my mind and fancy casserole. Make her feel better and I can get away. I can get it out of the way then. She's trying to get me to eat healthier. Uh, Yeah, if it's a girl's trip, they probably wouldn't want you to go anyway, Bazinga. They probably want to just do some girly stuff together. Oh, okay. Fair enough, Mark. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Do you think you got your gout because of all the walking that you do? Because I can imagine you probably do get some injuries and stuff or if you do. I know, you're not, I know you're not walking as much now, but like when you were doing it before. Yeah, but Bazinga, Mark is a madman. He used to walk 10 miles a day every day. Crazy person. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on uh, on any. I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy, Mark. <laughs> oh, 
What football team do you support again, Mark? I can't remember. Get in. What a goal by Roque. Oh, right, fair enough. Yeah, I'm trying to cut down on my food content. I had chicken and rice yesterday, and there wasn't much on the plate, but I actually felt quite full and content by the time I finished eating it, so I wasn't hungry, which is I'm trying to like just uh, make my portion smaller. <laughs> Mark, it's not you that constantly post updates on Southampton, is it? I can't remember. I get, I'm getting you confused with somebody else, and I. Did you enjoy living in Switzerland, Mark? I was joking with my girlfriend yesterday that we should move to Switzerland, but she said that pe people of her colour wouldn't be very welcome there. Plus, it's probably very expensive to live in Switzerland. I can't imagine they have, like, a benefit system. So, uh, I'd come and stuck. I'd have to actually get a job. Get in. 4-1. Oh, yeah, MLG. That's the one. Sorry, mate. Yeah. I feel like you're MLG, though, because you've got Mark G. So, I feel like MLG's your, uh, somebody else that you're pretending to be. So, you've got two, 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 uh, usernames on the forums. Bazinga is a uh, Tottenham fan and he is very close to, he lives very near the Brentford stadium, so he also goes and sees Brentford, I think. I think that's right, Bazinga. I could be wrong. Right, we haven't got a game for a while, so I'm just going to holiday. <laughs> yeah, they're quite passionate, Switzerland. I tried to start a network game clan where we took over uh, certain teams in the Switzerland League and our game, our aim was to get the Switzerland League up as high as possible on the league standings and try and win European competitions with teams in Switzerland. Um, but unfortunately, the people that... I, initially, we had like four or five people and it was... Uh, it started okay, but after like a few days, people just gave up and just stopped playing it. So... I would have liked to have done that. I would have liked to have worked as a team together with other people to try and get Swedish team, Swiss, not Swedish, Swiss teams high up as possible. And quite a few Swiss teams have um, like tycoon owners that keep plowing money into the club. So it would you you could do it in theory. In fact, I might try and do that as my next Twitch save. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, Bazinga. I am right there in what I said, though, weren't I? Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be a long-term save, wouldn't it, Mark? Try and get the Swiss League up as high as possible. And you, you, you couldn't just do it on your own. You couldn't just have... Like, if you were, like, FC Basel, for instance, um, or Baze Baze Basel. Is it Basel or Basel? I don't know. Anyway... If you were there and you and you won the Champions League a couple of times, it still wouldn't get the league up as as high as you want because you would need other teams to win competitions as well. 
uh, or at least van- advanced in the competitions in Europe. And then also you probably need the Swiss national team to be doing well as well. <laughs> so it's, there's a lot of factors in it and, and you couldn't do it on your own. Hello, Josh. So, uh, Zona Mr. M, by the way, uh, Mark is my friend, my personal friend, Josh. Even though I've never met him, we've known each other for many years. Um, played a few football manager network games. So, uh, he's very passionate about wrestling as well, Mark. But Josh, just to let you know, Mark is not really a, fo- uh, a ma- uh, wrestling fan. So, don't start waffling on to him about wrestling. <laughs> he likes football and cycling. So, there you go. He's, so, you can talk to him about that. <laughs> No, that's all right, Josh. I hope you're all right anyway. Uh, Bazinga, I hope you get your comeback. I mean, you can, Mark. I'd, I'd fall asleep if you started talking about cycling, though. No offence. I used to like riding my bike as a kid, though. I used to like doing wheelies and stuff like that, so at least I can add something to it. Not that that's like properly cycling. That's just going on a little push bike as a kid, but... Yeah, professional cycling, I wouldn't have a clue. Maybe the other two might. Mark, I should make a cycling thumbnail just just for you, mate, and I'll put I'll try and put your uh, your logo on the side going horns on it. How about that? There you go. Yeah, nice one, Mark. All the best. Cheers for uh, tagging along. I do appreciate it. Um, so we've got six people in it now. I know I know three of them is accounted for. Uh, don't be afraid to sell in the chat. Feel free to ask me anything if you want to join in the conversation. Um, anyway, Josh, how are you getting on with the, with the database? Do you reckon it will be ready by tomorrow? No worries if it ain't, mate. Oh, Deli Alley starting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't even see it on him. <sighs> I literally asked you. Um, yeah, Mark, if you can get me um, 
um, some tartan paint and a long reach, I would appreciate it, Mark. Uh, I'm only joking. All the best. Sweetie Sue. Um, yeah, I literally was asking you, and then I turned around to look at the chat and I noticed. <laughs> What tattoo was she thinking of getting, Bazinga? I've got a few tattoos myself. Mostly skulls. And heart. There's a big, like, human heart there. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Josh. Uh, just e Can you email me that database when you get a chance? Or if you want to put it on a website like Mega Upload or whatever they called it, um, and then send me the link either on WhatsApp or email it to me. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it. But no, I appreciate you putting all that effort in. I will make sure I mention you in the uh, the stream and the video that I do late uh, tomorrow. If I'm well enough to do it tomorrow, I might get worse and I might not. I might not be able to talk tomorrow. Uh, my my mother, I managed to um, hide my tattoos from my mom for about two years, and then she come downstairs at Christmas, and I was sleeping on a sofa, and I had my arm dangling, and she was like, "What are them?" And she looked ever so disappointed because she doesn't like tattoos. So, um, but she got used to it. She just accepted it. it's just who I am. I don't understand why she didn't like tattoos. She was okay with piercings. It's not like they were horrible tattoos. They're like skulls and stuff like that. So uh could have been worse. You could get um Bazinga, you could get a big a big Ange tattoo on your on your back or something. Show your support to the uh the manager of Spurs. Nice to see that we got oh we got five. We had up to, we had seven a second ago, so thank you for the seven people that are here. Yes, get in. Oh, it's gonna be disallowed. Yeah, I'm gonna do WWE. Um I'm gonna do it as a stream, but I'm also gonna do it as a video on YouTube as well. So hence why I'm only probably gonna do an hour. Maybe an hour and a half at the most. I could always chop it into two bits. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, Josh. Yeah, I could do like uh, over a week's a week's worth of shows on one episode. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably do it the same time as usual, two o'clock-ish, but probably only do about an hour and a half. I might do two hours if it's going well. Um, it just depends on my voice and stuff like that. It's just I did, I did a stream, a Twitch stream last Friday doing football manager stuff and it was just dead so i don't really mind not if it's if i do the tw stuff on friday and it doesn't really get many people because i'm just doing it to play the game if people get involved great it makes it better but it doesn't doesn't need to be whereas more it's more important for the fm content if i have interaction with people i think Yeah, hopefully. If I get a few people in, I'll be buzzing. Plus, it's a different game to play because I think I play too much Football Manager as it is. Um, are you, who are you managing at the moment, Josh, on Football Manager? Are you still managing in MLS? Is it still Orlando City? Uh, 
How'd you get on in your first season? Bazinga, have you ever managed in the MLS? I don't personally like the MLS. It's too complicated for my liking. But Josh likes it, so that's... At least he likes it, because he gets bored quite quickly. Josh, by the way, can you possibly, if you if you haven't done it already, can you put The Rock and Stone Cold as occasional wrestler and in WWE, if you haven't already done it? If you don't mind, please. <laughs> Oh, okay. Fair enough, mate. Did you enjoy it with LA Galaxy when you were there? Did they have any players, any well-known players? Was Gerard there or Ashley Cole then? Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to uh, pop a message if you want. Always happy to speak to new people on here as well. I appreciate the people that are... Uh, been on here already, like Bazinga and Josh, and I know Mark from the Side Games forums, but if you're new, feel free to say hello, join in the conversation. I'm sorry if it's not very nice audio me doing all that. Anybody watching this on the YouTube replay, I do apologise. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Have you done like recent injuries as well, like CM Punk injured and stuff like that? Bear with this. I was having a conversation with uh, somebody about their property they have to rent, and I said, "Do you do you accept?" Uh... No, um, sorry. Let me let me read this first. Hold on. Nah, don't worry about the injuries. I can have them myself, Josh. Don't worry about it. Nah, that's fine. I don't mind that anyway. Um, yeah, cheers, Bazinga. I appreciate it. Now, I was just having a conversation with somebody back and forth on Facebook Messenger. 
they had a uh, flat to rent and uh, I said, do you accept DSS because I'm on benefits? And uh, they said, no, they don't. And then I pointed out, well, that is discrimination because it's, uh, it's the law now that they can't, they can't reject somebody on the fact that they're on benefits. Um, and she doesn't believe me. And I'm trying to point, I, I, I've sent her a few articles about it um, that I found on Google, but so there you go. But how they get around it now, landlords, is they say that they have a minimum. So they want people to be earning a minimum amount of money. So when I rang up a couple of days ago about this flat to rent, they said that I wouldn't fit the criteria for how, and I'm like, why? I can, I've got benefits that will pay for the rent. And they just was like, well, the, the landlord wants the person to be earning a certain amount, which is stupid, but that's how they're getting around it now. Which again is discrimination, but because it's not being uh, legislated yet, they can just, this is their new way of getting around it. Or they'll, um, certain landlords will have, like, landlords will have these like old fashioned landlord insurance. And the landlord insurance um, stops people on benefits renting the property. So they've got their ways of doing it. It's just discrimination at the end of the day. Not everybody on benefits is going to ruin your flat. I don't smoke. I don't really drink. I don't do drugs. I'm very quiet. Right, we're losing to Liverpool, which is not ideal. And we're now losing 2 now. I don't think we'll win. I don't think we'll win this game. Messi or Knackers, you'll have to come off there. Uh, I watched the uh, second episode of Trigger Point yesterday. God, it's such a good TV show, isn't it? Oh. Can't wait for the next episode to come on. Josh, did you find a TV show to watch in the end? Patient. Oh, okay. Steve Carell. It should be funny then. Is it a comedy? Oh, okay, that's good then. I might, I might, I might see if my girlfriend wants to watch that at some point. We're uh, we're slowly working our way through Father Ted, um, which is always funny. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I hate being ill. Yeah, Father Ted's amazing. She's watched it before, but I don't think she's watched it all the way through, and I don't think she's watched it for many, many years. So she was laughing away watching the first two episodes, especially on that on the one. I think it was either the first episode or the second episode, and and Father Ted sits on that bench with Father Jack, and then he gets up and then he falls off, and then he falls off in the end, and then they end up interviewing Dougal. And then they had the next episode, they had that bloke who's, that, that priest who's really boring, <laughs> just driving them up the wall. We all know somebody that is, that's that boring, so we can kind of resonate with it. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to win the Spanish league this year. We're eight points behind Real Madrid. Why is it every time, Josh, I sign Lionel Messi, I, I go from being title winners to not winning anything? Is he just a bad luck curse? I mean, I know it's only September, but we're eight points behind Valencia. Sorry, not, not Real Madrid. But Real Madrid will be up there near enough. Um, ah, saying that, though, we have got two games ahead of them. So that's not too bad, actually. I'm panicking over nothing. Oh, very nice. I'm very jealous of Bazinga. I'm trying not to eat too much dark meat lately. Sticking to chicken and fish if I can help it. What have you got for dinner today then, Josh? Tea tonight, sorry. I've got casserole. Very boring. Right. If we beat these, we're back on track, I think. If we lose to these, whoa, God help us. God help us indeed. At least Deli Ali's playing. Torres with a beautiful little pass. Idiox. Sorry, I got distracted by something, I apologise. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, Josh, don't worry. There's bound to be somebody that's done all the lineages for the titles anyway. I'll probably find it. I'm not too bothered about the lineages too much anyway. I can just go online and find it. I can, I can always go online and show people the lineage for titles. So yeah, but no, I appreciate you putting the effort in the, 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 the main two. Right, we're one nil up. What are you having for tea then, Josh? Do you know? I don't know why I do this. I torture myself talking to you lot about bloody food. When I ain't eating for the next four hours, I'm just going to be sat there fucking hungry. Sorry for swearing. Bloody hungry for the next four hours. Um, Barca's not doing very well. This might end up being a bloody journeyman save at this rate because I might get sacked at bloody Barcelona. That would be annoying. I bring Messi back and I get sacked in the first season he's back. Be all right there. We just scored. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. There we go.
There we go in the top four now. Five points behind Real Madrid with the game in hand. So we've still got a chance. We've got to win the pre we've got to win the Spanish league with Messi back. It's his bloody birthright. Uh, what are you doing with the rest of your uh, your day then, Bazinga? Anything exciting happening today when when your girlfriend comes back? Or are you just gonna relax? No, that's all right, mate. Don't worry. You don't need to ever apologise. You don't need to feel like you don't need to feel like you need to contribute at all times. Just, just, just chime in when you want to. No pressure at all. I just want people to have a nice time, chill out, have a chat, watch me play this. Hello to the other people in the chat. We've got six in here now, so uh, we're doing well today. We've been hitting seven and seven, seven at the most in the chat. Well, watching. I wouldn't say chatting, but yeah, feel free to contribute if you want. If not, just uh, enjoy. Hopefully, you're enjoying the content or enjoying the randomness of the conversation I'm having. Has she come back from her uh, from her girly shopping trip then? Or was that the other day that you were on about that? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Did she have a nice time with your roommate? Did they get anything exciting when they went shopping? Oh, sorry everyone, I pressed the wrong thing there. I did instant result, sorry. Force of a uh, habit, I did that, I do that in my off offline saves. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm just letting you know, I have got the in-game editor, but I, I'm not using it for the uh, for the, the sake of these uh, games. It's just I had to use it uh, in my offline save because of a cock-up and I just wanted to correct it. But I won't be using it on my Twitch and YouTube saves. Yeah, she's probably... Had to go and do the work in it because she's probably only got a certain amount of time to do it. I'm going to take a guess of what colour hair your girlfriend's got. Is she... Uh, I reckon she... I see, I would say brunette, but, that, but most women are brunette. I'm going to go blonde. I reckon she's like a dark blonde. Is she a dark blonde, Bazinga? I'm not asking for anything vulgar, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm just trying to randomly think of something to talk about. So, yeah. I'm not going to start asking anything else about it, so don't panic. Um, I reckon you're a brunette as well, Bazinga. I've got a feeling you're a brunette. I'm not ginger, by the way. My my beard is ginger, but I am a brunette. But for some reason, my beard is a bit ginger. And it goes more ginger in the summer.
You're a Moroccan sunset, Josh. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> You're a brunette, Josh. Don't start getting all exotic on me. I've already told my girlfriend um, that, that ginger women are my kryptonite, so she, know, she knows I'm going to, at some point or another, trade her in for a ginger woman. <laughs> she knows I wouldn't do that. Um, I just like to tease her about it when she winds me up. Yeah, ginger women are my uh, my the women I find the most attractive. Followed by mixed race women. I'm not really a fan of blondes. I think blondes are like bottom of the list for me. Oh, she's got blue hair. Oh, I bet she looks so cool. Every time I see somebody with blue hair, I just think they look really cool. I wish I had hair. I would dye my I would dye my hair all the time. Josh. <laughs> Don't make me ban you. <laughs> stop 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 getting me in trouble, you. With your comments, you you smutty man. Yeah, that I mean, I had, I had a, a, a an ex who was like peroxide blonde, and she was absolutely horrible to me. So I think she just ruined blondes for me. She does she sell stuff on uh is it what's it called? Uniqlo. What's that? Is that like a, a website where you sell things? Yeah, you, Josh, your wife's probably one of the exceptions to the rule when it comes to blondes. She's probably a very nice woman. I mean, there's no probably about it, she from what you tell me she is. So uh yeah, but I find most blonde women uh, just, just don't, I'm just not attracted to them. We've all got our preferences. I can't imagine many women are uh, attracted to bold, chubby men like me, but, you know, luckily my girlfriend likes me for me. Oh, uh, okay. So, say hello to your girlfriend from uh, me and Josh, Brazinga. Let her know that I successfully guessed her hair colour without seeing a photo of her. Is um, Brazinga, is your girlfriend a bit of a rocker then, is she? If she's got blue hair, I assume she's a bit of a... I wouldn't say rock chick because that's a bit outdated, isn't it? But is she a bit of a rocker? Does she have like a, a, a rock vibe to her? If she does, then she's she's calling my books because I'm a, I'm a bit of a rocker. Mostly old school though, like Metallica and Limp Bizkit and bands like that. I wouldn't. I'm not very uh, into. I'm not into any modern rock bands. The video of me with. With hair was awesome. I can't remember what that when that was. Oh, was that when I got that hair that hair piece? Is that what you're on about, Josh? Were you friends with me then? I can't remember how far back that was. Does my girlfriend like to shop? Um, yeah, Bazinga. My girlfriend likes to shop in bookshops. She literally can't help herself. She will go into Waterstones. Any time we go anywhere where there's a where there's a bookshop like the like the works or Waterstones, she can't help herself. I actually had a bet with her that she couldn't go the whole whole of this year without buying a book, and she did say she could do it, but she already she already failed after the first week, and she's got about two hundred books that she hasn't even read yet, and she keeps buying more books, and I keep telling her that we've only got a certain amount of room in her house and in my flat, so she has to stop buying books until she's read the books that she's got, but yeah, she's terrible for books. She's very well organized, my girlfriend though. She's somehow. Find space for every time we go shopping. I always say to her, "We've bought way too much. There's no way you're going to find space for these things." 
or she'll buy little things from my flat to make the flat better. And I'll just say, to her, we haven't got the room for all these things. She somehow finds room for it, though. Women are very organised. Way better than us men. Yeah, women like to go shopping as a way of relaxing, don't they? I, f I find shopping very boring, personally. I'm still trying to figure out what video you're on about, Josh. Me with hair. I assume it's the one with... When I've got the hair piece. So many years ago, Bazinga, I was sick of being rejected on being on the fact that I was bald. So I decided to spend 500 quid on a, a hair piece made of real hair. And then got it glued on. And then I was allergic to the glue... And I had to take the, the, the hair piece off. And then whenever I used other stuff, it just wouldn't work properly. So I wasted money on that. And also, I didn't like I didn't like having a big sweaty head all the time because I had, ha I had hair on my head for the first time in about 15 years. So it felt weird to me. So I just got back. I just went back to being bold. Yeah, I want to get one of them Steam Decks, I do, them Steam Deck handheld things. And then I can play on that when I'm around my girlfriends. Or when I'm on a, when I'm on a bus or something, because she lives... I have to get two buses to get to hers, and it takes about an hour and a half. So I'll either just... Usually I'll just put a, a podcast on, or I'll watch, I'll watch a few videos on YouTube. But I wouldn't mind getting a Steam Deck one day. Yeah, my dad, what my dad used to do, whenever my mum used to go round the shops, my dad would just stand outside the shops. And I know why he did it now, because he was probably perving on all the women walking past. But as a kid, I used to think he was a right miserable sod. And now as an adult, I, I, I can totally understand why he did it, because I just find clothes shopping very boring. Oh, I'm just sending my girlfriend a message. I've said to her she needs to look after me tonight because I've got man flu. So I know she's just going to roll her eyes now. Right, well, one nil up. I'm not really paying much attention to this, though. I'm just quite happy just chatting to you. <laughs> Um, no, there's no offence. You can ask me anything, Bazinga. I don't, I don't get offended easily. Um, but no, I, I can't. I mean, I can drive. I can learn to drive if I wanted to. But I have like a mild version of cerebral palsy, so it affects my hand and eye coordination. Plus, I'm a, I'm a, I already get road rage um, with idiot drivers as it is. So if I actually properly drove, I'd be trying to, t uh, to, to crash into people to get them off the road. So I wouldn't be very good, or I'd be getting out the car and fighting all the time. And I'm not even an aggressive person. I just get really annoyed with idiot drivers. Some some idiot ninny went into my girlfriend's car a couple of weeks ago, and I was literally foaming at the mouth, telling her to catch up with him so I could get out and punch him, but she weren't having it. And I'm not even that bad of a, aggressive of a person. It just it just really gets my back up. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't want to put myself at risk and others if I actually drove because. My reactions wouldn't be very good. Um, so if I had to suddenly slam the brakes, I don't think I'd be quick enough to do it. Uh, my girlfriend's drove for years, yeah. Yeah, she drives. She drives. But she doesn't mind being the only one that drives. Because when she doesn't want to drive, and for instance, if she wants to... She's not really... She's like me. She's not really much of a drinker. But on the odd occasion that she wants to have a drink when we go out... We tend to just get Ubers here, there, and everywhere, or we just get buses if we're, we're near it. We don't mind doing that. So, yeah. 
Otherwise, she doesn't mind. There's been many a times where I've said, suggested to her that we get the bus to places and she just prefers, especially if we go food shopping, she just prefers taking the car because it's easier than lugging all the shopping around. I assume you and your... I assume... Do you you, you and your girlfriend drive? Because cause you're living in London. It probably doesn't really make much sense for you to, to drive, does it? Because it's just... Uh, it's the same as New York. Every, everybody in the big city don't tend to drive, do they? Or they, they get the, the... You get the underground, don't you? Messi, or oh, a beautiful penalty by Lionel Messi. This is more like it in the Champions League. We had a blip against Liverpool, but we're doing all right in this game. There's some weird teams here. What the hell is this team? There's an Armenian team that's doing well in the Champions League. Any other weird teams? What's this team? An Albanian team doing well. This is really weird. Couple of Russian teams. Oh, okay. So she, she, she's definitely a biker. She's definitely like a rock, rock biker chick, ain't she? Your girlfriend. She, she'd be somebody I'd know. Like I used to go to this pub in, uh, in Birmingham. So it's like a rock pub, and everybody's. Like you get on, everybody gets on with everybody in the rock pub. No, there's no, there's no, there's very rarely any fighting or arguing. Everybody just gets on with everybody. So she's probably somebody I'd I'd like have a good laugh with in that. Are you a bit of a rocker, Bazinga? Are you into rock music, old rock music and stuff? But she's got blue hair, and if she's got a motorcycle or a motorcycle license, she's definitely like a rock chick in some ways. I stay away from uh, rock chicks. They always break my heart. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. I've never really been with a rock chick. Actually, saying that though, my girlfriend's into rock music and uh, I've had a few exes that have been into rock music. So I have been, I have been with what, they, what we call rock chicks. Yeah, Lincoln, Lincoln Park and Limp Biscuit were the first two rock bands I got into. Um, I went out when I was about sixteen, seventeen. I went out with a with a woman who was about eighteen, nineteen, and uh, she was into um, rock music. So she, got, well, I'd say rock music, what they call new metal, because that's when new metal came out back then. So she got me into them and Corn and bands like that, and then I like Disturbed. Um, they were the band I, I went and seen live. I absolutely loved it. And then I really got into Metallica. So, uh, yeah. I'd say Metallica is probably my favourite rock band. But, yeah, I was absolutely crushed when Chester Bennington killed himself. Such a shame. But anyway, let's not talk about stuff for us. <laughs> I used to really be into, I used to really be into, like, R&B, hip-hop and rap music. Tupac was probably one of my first favorite musical artists when I was a kid, and I was crushed. I was I, I, I actually I actually cried when when he when he got killed. I was so gutted. Um, but his music lives on. And then Eminem come about, and Dr. Dre obviously was about, but obviously he become more prominent when I was when I was a teenager and bands and people like that. And then I got just really into like G Unit and Fifty Cent and. And I was listening to Westwood every weekend and I was learning about new rap artists and things like that. So, yeah, good old days. Got seven people in here now. Hello, everyone. You want to come and say hello? Say hello. I do appreciate I do appreciate anybody's support on here. Um Bazinga, Josh, uh other people that come along as well. 
I haven't seen uh Josh I haven't seen Drundy for a while, mate, on here. Or Copsy. They haven't been on here for a while, mate. Which is a shame. But yeah, if you want to ask me anything in the uh, Twitch chat, feel free to. I'll be here till 4 o'clock-ish. Maybe a little bit longer if I've got the energy. Oh, we've got eight people now. We're rocking today. Hello, everybody else. Bazinga, as you've been here a while now, uh, I think it's only fair that I make you part of my my team. So you are now going to be... Oh, no. Sorry, I pressed the wrong thing there. Uh, I'm going to change his name. There we go. You're my new chief scout, Bazinga. And you're Portuguese. So there you go. You're now Portuguese. That's all right, mate. You just keep finding me. Well... I mean, I mean, you got the easiest job ever because I'm basically the only signing former Barcelona players. <laughs> so you won't be doing much, but, you know. Just see if your missus will let you move to Spain. I don't think she'd have a problem with living in Spain, do you reckon? Nicer weather. <laughs> You're going to name for me. Who, what, what member of staff am I going to be? Josh is my assistant manager on here. Josh, I called him Josh Sona. I've simply just named you Bazinga. I could have put I could have put Andrew Bazinga, I suppose, or Drew Bazinga. But no. I'm gonna make you exotic. I'm just gonna give you one name. Bazinga. Ah, I forgot we're playing Real Madrid. I should have focused a bit more on this. Oh, come on. Come on, VAR. Help us out. Ah, oh, you bugger. I think Josh has disappeared. He's had to go back and do some work, I think. Josh, if you're listening and you can't reply for the rest of the stream, um, can you please email me when you get a chance before tomorrow? Um, email me that database if possible. You can just e email it me if you don't want to use a website to do it. I'd say mega mega dot m mega dot nz is the best one to use if you want to upload it to a website. It's easy for me to then click on it. Or send it me on Facebook if you'd want if you'd want to do that instead, Josh. I don't mind. Okay, Josh, no worries mate. Just let me know what how you get on. I'm looking forward to having a little look tomorrow before I uh I start streaming. But yeah, I'll make sure to mention you. Bazinga's my new chief scout, by the way. So, well, welcome him to the club, please. <laughs> it's a community effort here. <laughs> Come on, Barca. Right, we've got a corner. Can we get a draw out of this? I'd be happy with the draw against Real Madrid. Oh, beautiful little interplay here. Oh, how's that not a penalty? He fouled him. Bloody piss tape. Come on, let's not lose. Let's, let's get a goal here. Stop passing it backwards. Come on. Forwards. Thank you. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, it's not going to be a penalty, is it? It's outside the box. Don't get my hopes up. He's standing outside the box. It's clearly a free kick. There you go. God, you don't need a VAR check for that. Look, see? There. Right. Come on, Torres. Ah, oh, too bloody high. Right, you're the Alba. Come on, let's get a draw. Let's rescue something out of this guy. <gasps> yes, get in. Oh, referee. He's offside. I know he is. I, I knew he was offside when the ball went over to him. For God's sake. Josh, you're getting sapped in the morning if we don't draw this game. I'm just letting you know. Oh, I clicked on the wrong shout then. Uh, oh, they're going to win 2-0 here, aren't they? Oh, that makes me so sad. We're not winning the Spanish League this season, everybody. No, it's not happening. It's like the Newcastle Twitch save all over again, Josh. As soon as I sign Messi, it all goes tits up. We're 10 points behind Real Sociedad, 9 points behind. We are not winning the... We've just got to aim for top four now. Right. I've got a holiday now because I haven't got a game for 11 days. About eight people in here. Thank you, everybody. I do appreciate your support. Much appreciated. Um, for anybody that wants to watch me play football manager uh, and not just chat about random stuff, feel free to check out my... YouTube channel under the same name, Lucha FM. Um, I do a Wraith Rovers save at the moment on there, which is doing quite well, getting a lot of people into the, a lot of people are interested in that. So um, feel free to watch that from the start. I am currently, I mean, I've got, I I I I I have an episode coming out on YouTube every day. So the last episode was published today. Um, let me just, hold on, yeah, so, and that was episode 17, so yeah, so feel free, there are about 35 to 40 minutes each episode, um, so feel free to watch it, subscribe to me on YouTube as well, if you're not following me on Twitch, please follow me as well, because that helps, it all helps, you know, it shows Twitch and YouTube that people are interested in the content I'm creating, I'm just... Like I said, I enjoy playing football manager. I enjoy chatting to people. If I can get a few people interested and build a community eventually doing it, then great. Uh, it's nice chatting to people like my mate Josh and Bazinga and other people that's come along the, along the way, making new friends. I also post the replays of the Twitch streams on there as well. So if you have to go halfway through a stream and you just want to see what happens when you're gone, feel free to check on my YouTube. I usually post it a couple of hours. After. It takes a couple of hours to, to sort it out. But it's usually a couple of hours after I finish streaming, it'll be on. So it's usually about 8, 9 o'clock at night if you get a bit bored. No, it's all right, mate. No, it's fine. I appreciate you sending me the link. I appreciate you uh, adding me to your staff. I'll try and do my best for you, Bazinga. But no, I appreciate your support over the last week or two when, since you've been here. Much appreciated. I, I, I like having people that are consistent. Obviously, there's going to be times where you're busy with work, so... Um, but yeah...
はい Um, Bazinga, I will be on here about two o'clock tomorrow, by the way. I'll be playing a wrestling simulator game called TEW 2020. So if you don't know what that game's about and you want to see how I get on managing WWE, feel free to tag along if you get a chance. If you're busy, don't worry about it. Um, you, at least you won't be missing any FM content. Yeah, don't worry. Just message back when you're back. No rush. Josh, are you going to be doing your um new your new Japan? Are you going to be doing that thing online on Twitch, or are you going to just do it as a diary? So I think I think you'd get more people into it if you did it as a Twitch thing. Or you could do it as a YouTube... I think you're probably better off doing it as a YouTube series. It would probably get more people interested. I don't know. I don't know what's better. Depend. I don't know. Maybe see how I get on tomorrow and then figure it out from there. See how, see how many people get involved. Oh yeah, that's true. I never thought about that. I might have that issue tomorrow. Uh, we'll 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 figure it out tomorrow, mate. When I'm doing it, I assume there's no way around it. I assume there's no way of doing it full screen, and you just have to do it how it is. I never even thought about that. Let me just uh, let me uh, let me find it. Let me load it up. Let me just load up TW and let me see what it looks like on the screen. Yeah, bear with us, everyone. We won't be long. Right, can I maximise that? No, I can't. Okay, put it over here. Okay, bear with us, Josh. Two seconds. Sorry, everybody, just bear with us. We're just testing something out. Test.
There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. But that looks all right, doesn't it, Josh, from what you saw? It looks en enough for people to be able to see it, doesn't it? I'll tinker around with it tomorrow before I start streaming. I just wanted to see if it was possible to do it before we before I started saying I'm going to stream tomorrow and I can't do it. Right, see how we get on with the rest of this game. What time is it now? Okay, we've still got about 25 minutes. Uh, OBS. So just Google OBS. Um, it's quite easy to, to use. Um, there's plenty of guides on YouTube. If you get particularly stuck on one what um something let me know and I'll help you. Yeah, just tinker around with it and just see how you get on with it. Oh, good little pass. Go on, Torres. Oh, that would have been a great individual goal there. Yeah, I bought a mic. Um, I mean, people said my laptop mic was decent enough, but it is better. But I spent, I spent like 70, 80 quid on a mic. Um, if you look at Blue Yeti mics, they are the, the best ones to get, Blue, Blue Yeti. I got one from CEX for like 70 quid. They're usually about 99 quid. And then ideally what you need is one of these um, crane things where it hovers the mic over your, over your mouth. I got one, but I think I broke I got two, but I think I broke them. Trying to get it just right. So, um, but you can also just do what I do and have a little table next to you and then have the mic next to you. Because people can hear me enough, so well enough. Because it's a good mic. So yeah, I'd recommend getting a decent mic. If you've got an old webcam on your computer or laptop, I'd get a new webcam. You can always test out what I use. What I do is I always do um, a five ten second recording before I start any streaming or recording, just to test out, see if the the mic's working okay and everything else. So uh, I do like an audio test thing. And I always do that before I start a stream or start recording a video. So you can always do that, Josh. That way you can hear it back and then you can hear whether it sounds all right. There's filters and things you can get for OBS. So I've got a filter to make my mic sound a bit louder. So I've got my mic further away from it, but people can still hear me okay. Nice little victory there. Messi. Never heard of this team we're playing next. Santa Columba. Do you reckon you'll be able to send me that database, Josh, tonight? Or before 2 o'clock tomorrow? Are you trying to figure it out? Yeah, no worries. All right, mate. If you can't, let me know. And I'll just try and find a recent data update and try and do what you've done and tinker around with it and try and change certain things.
Yeah, seems alright this team. Alright, let's carry on. This highlight goes to us. Ah, nearly. All day with the cross. Yes, get him, Rafina. Third goal of the season for him. Get in two nil. I hope you stick with the uh, new Japan say because I, I I always enjoyed your uh, diary thing things and stuff, Josh. So even if you just do it as a diary on the uh, the the Grey Dove software forums, I'd still enjoy it. I think it'd be easier for you to do it as a video thing though. Do you think how much of a piss take it takes to 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 do it on the the uh, TW forums and that because they're doing all the photos and all that stuff as well? I think it'd be a lot easier if you did it as a video one. You don't you don't need to uh, have your face on there either. I've seen quite a few people on YouTube doing TW stuff and they ain't got their face on screen, so you wouldn't need to worry about that. Absolutely destroyed this team. Oh God, we're only 20 minutes into the game. Jesus Christ. At least if you do it as a YouTube thing as well, I, I can, uh, or if you do it on Twitch, if I, if I can't necessarily contribute much to it, at least um, I can watch it on YouTube and, and leave a few comments on the videos. It just depends on when you do it, mate. If you do it, you know, you're probably likely to do it in the evening, aren't you? Uh, which is usually when I'm chilling out with my partner. But I can try, I can try, at least I can do is try, because obviously you, you're really good at supporting me. So I will try, I just won't be able to be as frequent as you've been. When's your wife usually, oh, during the day? Well then, I should be able to, just... If you're doing it at the same time as me, no. <laughs> no, I won't be able to contribute. Uh, you know, if you do it a little before a little bit before, a little bit after me, then I can contribute when I can. I mean Monday and Tuesdays I won't be able to because that's usually when I do all my my YouTube content for the week. And then obviously I go to the gym when I'm when I'm feeling alright to do it. Um but I'll try my best, mate, because at the end of the day it's it's a two-way thing, our friendship, so I'll try and support you like you supported me. Oh, 7-0. Easy, easy. Oh, that's not gonna, it's not going to count. Yep, gold slow. Oh, we're winning 6-0. It's only 35, 35 minutes into the game. 
seven nil. Should we do a score prediction, Josh? What do you reckon the end the end result's gonna be? I reckon it's gonna be twelve twelve nil. I reckon it's gonna be twelve nil to Barcelona in this game. Actually, twelve is a bit of an underestimation. Isn't it? I reckon I'm going to go fourteen nil. Probably the biggest result in Barcelona's history at this rate. The way it's going. Mm. Bazinga! What do you reckon? Are you still here? Look at that! What a goal by Nicker Fay! Blasts it in outside the box. Your boy Nick Fay, Josh. Oh, he's doing better now. He's free. He was three stars for literally all of last season, and now he's three and a half, which is good. Means he's improving. What do you reckon the score's going to be at the end, Josh? Absolutely destroying them. It's only the first half. Imagine if we get another nine goals in the second half. This poor team. Where are they from anyway? Where's this team from? It's, oh, I don't know. I'll have a look in a sec. Seventeen. So you're going Bazinga, you're going only thirteen nil. Ooh, maybe you might be right, you never know. I'm going fourteen nil, you're going fourteen nil, and Josh is going seventeen nil. Your your girlfriend likes going to IKEA, Bazinga. I swear that's the second time you've gone to IKEA um, since I started speaking to you. Messi hat trick, right? Let's see where this team's from. Andorra. Well, there you go. That would explain why we're thrashing them. I think Deli Ali needs to get in on the action here. Where are you, Deli Ali? You're coming on. Oh, we're lucky. Who are we taking off? Let's have a look. We'll put Roman on. Athena can come off. Put Alakan on. Oh, Delhi Ali. Delhi, 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 Delhi Ali. Right, the young. Beautiful pass to Serge Rowe. Serge, oh, go on, Delhi. Oh, come on, Delhi. You need to get in on the action here, mate. I think uh, I think uh, Bazinga might be right on this one. I think the goals are dried up out of nowhere. Oh, ha, 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 ha. there's a reason why he's the goat. Right, you're going to come off now, Messi. Uh, actually, I haven't got anybody to put on PC staying on. Oh God! You need to take that back if it's already blown up. That's poor. That's poor production on their on their part, isn't it? Right, De Jong with the corner. That's another one. That's another one. Yeah, they're not cheap, these floor lamps. Oh, that's another one. Uh, Bazinga, I think you might be wrong in your prediction, but I think I might be wrong. I think Josh might end up winning this one, the way it's going. Unless I somehow... Um, Purposely, when we get to 14-0, I'll just suddenly just play really, very defensive just to wind Josh up. I think I might do that. <laughs> well, let's get one more goal, and then I'm going to go ultra-defensive. <laughs> Deli Ali! Right, Josh, you're having it now, mate. You ain't winning this, way. You ain't winning this prediction. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> I don't think it'll make any difference, Josh, by the way. I won't worry about it. I think you're still going to win this. Well, you're going to be closest one out of the three of us, I think. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, here we go. Miss, 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 miss. Yeah, miss. I'm going to win this, Josh. I'm going to win this. <laughs> you watch now. This team score now completely balls it up. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go. Ah, oh, come on. I was so close. So close. Oh, there's still time, Josh. Yours might come in. If they get another one, you probably win the prediction. If if they don't, then I win, I suppose, because I'd be the closest one. Yeah. Yay, I won. So close to getting an exact prediction there. Right, how long, what are we doing for time? Right, we've got one, one more game in us, I think, and that's it. Yeah, don't worry, uh, Bazinga, I'm heading off in a minute myself, so yeah, cheers for, cheers for staying around and contributing as always. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have fun in Ikea. Trying to spend too much on a lamp. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow, mate, if you want to join in. Right then, Josh, looks like you're the last one standing. We got one more game in us. Yeah, it is bloody. I'm too bloody ill to be cold. That's the problem. It shouldn't be called a cold when you have a cold because you feel bloody warm more than anything else. Are you getting on with that? Sending me that database, Josh. Are you are you are you trying to upload it to something? I think I'm going to title this video when I upload it to YouTube, Josh, as I'm sorry, I've got man flu. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to put as the title. Right, last game of the street. Let's see if we can end it on a good note. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I was just curious if it was done or not, but there's no rush. Just message me on WhatsApp when you've done it. It doesn't need to be, like, absolutely beautifully polished either, Josh, because I can tinker with it myself if I need to. Whatever you end up having by the end, by, like, tomorrow morning, just send me it, even if you don't think it's 100%. If you don't mind. Have you forwarded it towards the the like February, or is it going to be, um, is it is it literally going to start in February? January. Okay, that's fine. I'll just redo. The, I'll just, I don't mind redoing the rumble. Get make Cody have Cody Rhodes win.
No, that's fine. I don't mind. Because then you'd have to do all the things like uh, you'd have to change it. You'd have to do all the things like uh, Cody Rose winning and all that stuff. Uh, winning the Royal Rumble. So I'll do it myself. Don't worry. I can kind of book it as it's happened in real life but change a few little things as well. Because the last thing I'm going to do is have Cody Rhodes win the Royal Rumble and then not go against bloody Roman Reigns for the title of WrestleMania. Cause that is just stupid. Only stupid people would do that. Oh, what a pass. Uh, still nil-nil. What a pass by Roberto there. Unlucky. Unlucky not to score there. Come on, why aren't we winning? <gasps> oh, bloody hell. Messi, that's not like you. Finally we score. Bloody hell. Started to worry then. Right, 1-0. Well done, Pedro. Uh, bit of a boring game this one, wasn't it? For the neutrals. Sorry it wasn't a very exciting game for people. Uh, but it's been a decent stream. Um, I hope people who come here for the chat enjoy the chat. I hope people who come here to watch me play as Barcelona enjoy it as well. I hope it's like a a thing that you that everybody gets something out of. Really, not everybody's going to enjoy the chat. Not everyone's going to enjoy the football manager content. So, but yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Right at the end, nothing I can do about that. Oh God. We really should have. We should, really should have won that game. <sighs> right then, everyone. I am going to head off. I'm going to watch a bit of TV before my girlfriend calls back. Josh, uh, thank you as always. I oh, cheers, mate. I do appreciate it. Yeah, just drop me a message on WhatsApp later when you finished it, if you don't mind. Um, but yeah, I should be on here tomorrow. Playing some TEW 2020, which is a wrestling simulator game for people who don't know. So hopefully we'll have a good laugh playing that. And uh, yeah, Josh, I'll speak to you later. And all the best, everyone. See ya.